What do you spy? Polish Kishka. Where do you spy it? Cooling on the windowsill. But not for long. Why? Why? Because, because we're going to eat, eat it for, it for dinner. dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jimmy. I just love it when Mother cooks Kishka for dinner in celebration of Kashmir Pulaski Day. Boy, so do I. The combination of intestines stuffed with meat of the animal whose intestines they were from and grains is really tasty. Healthy, too, when Mother adds all that fatty butter and starchy potatoes as sides. Oh, I can't wait until we eat. Let's play marbles until the quiche... Good idea. Keepsies? You know it. Good. Well, I need some more cat's eyes. And I've had my eyes on your shooters. <laughs> <laughs> This is ever so fun. You said it. Still, I'm getting awful hungry. I wonder if the kishka is cool enough to eat yet. <gasps> Jimmy, look. What? Someone has stolen the kishka from the windowsill. Oh, quick, let's hot foot it over there. Oh no, it is gone. I thought maybe the kishka fell into the house, but it's just gone. And look here on the lawn, a clue. Two sets of footprints? Well, I'd recognize those size 15s anywhere. Those belong to Fred and Tony Crotty. The twins from school who already went through puberty? The very same. Let's follow the footprints and see where they go. Look, Judy. The prints go all the way down the hill and into Mr. Crotty's tool shed. And the door is locked up tight. Hmm. Should we get father and mother? Oh, we mustn't. We might recover the Kishka, but come Monday, Fred and Tony Crotty will be ever so mean and bully us even worse for involving our parents. Good point, Judy. We shouldn't break the unwritten kid rule and squeal to parents, no matter how mean Fred and Tony Crotty are. Or how hungry we are. Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Pull out the old Marconi and give it a rub. Whenever April showers come along. Al, Al Jolson! Call me by my southern name, Honey. Now tell me, children. Why did you summon old Jolie from beyond the radio graveyard? We've been robbed, Mr. Jo... Honey? And we're hungry. Robbed? Hungry? No child should ever go hungry, especially after being robbed. Can you help us? Well, of course I will. You're the only two children who keep calling me back for encores. And I'm a little hungry myself, not having eaten a bite since 1950. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why must you joke at a time like this, honey? Be nice, Jimmy. Father says laughter is the only wealth we needn't pay taxes on. I'm sorry. I'm just anxious. If we don't get that kishka back soon, it'll be left out at room temperature for too long. And we'll all get botulism. Hold on now, children. What's all this talk about kishka? That's what was stolen. Mother made us a huge plate of kishka for dinner in honor of Kazimierz Pulaski Day. And a host of other Polish delicacies. And she left the kishka out on the windowsill to cool. We were playing marbles while we waited. Keepsies? Naturally. But when we looked up to check on the plate of kishkas, they were gone. And you're sure they didn't fall into the house? No, we checked. But we found footprints outside the window. Two sets. I recognized them instantly by their size. They belong to Fred and Tony Crotty. Fred and Tony Crotty. Twins who... I know who they are. Their great-great-great-great-great-great-grandpa came over with my parents from a shtetl in Russian Lithuania. Was he a jerk like the twins? Oh yeah, a regular <laughs> Now, where do those footprints lead? To the shed behind the Crotty's house. But it's locked. We can smell the delicious kishka inside. Let's head over there. Slow, slow down, kids. All these years of singing on my knees has given Jolie the arthritis. And how did I have so much energy to run with empty stomachs? <laughs> Okay, there's the shed. Let's hide behind this bush and think of a plan. Good idea. They'll be expecting us to come up to the front and knock so... Honey, what are you doing? Quiet down, Jimmy. You don't want to attract attention. I'm just putting on my black face. Oh, you mustn't. Well, why not? 
Honey, in this day and age, a white person, or any person, wearing blackface is considered a racist. But that's ridiculous. In vaudeville, Jewish performers like me wore blackface as a sign of solidarity with African Americans and standing up against the oppression that handicapped both of our disenfranchised peoples. Well, I don't care. Just don't do it. But this is a COVID operation. It's my camouflage. Here, then just tie this navy blue bandana over your face instead. Here's a wet nap to wipe off your face, Mr. Jolson. Why, thank you, Judy. There. Now, is there also going to be a problem with me wearing white gloves, Jimmy? No. In fact, that's a good idea. We don't want to leave fingerprints behind. What about autograph photographs? Honey, can you be serious a moment? I am. <laughs> Your awful jokes are really starting to burn me up, honey. Well, I'm sorry, Jimmy. I'm just trying to induce the stress of the situation. Yeah, leave him alone, Jimmy. Okay, but no more grandpa jokes. You mean, no more great great tool shed. That means the heaping plate of Kishka is still in there. We gotta hurry. Judy, did you bring your lock picking kit? Already there, Jimmy. Hurry! Quiet! Give the girl some room. And there. Look, on the top shelf. Where? Behind the rat poison. The Kishka. Is it all there, Jimmy? Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yep, all here. Fred and Tony must have been saving it for a snack later. <gasps> Look, a light went on in the house. They've seen us. Here they come. My, are they big for third graders. Hey, get away from our tool shed. What are we going to do? We can't possibly run with all this kishka. We're doomed. Doomed. Nonsense, Judy and Jimmy. You two just go ahead. Take your time and leave Fred and Tony to little old Asa. Are you sure, honey? I am. For luck. Well, thank you. Now get going. Hey, Akishka. We're going to get you, punks. Uh, Fred, Tony, hold up. Get out of our way, Jolson. This is between Judy and Jimmy and us. Oh, I'm afraid not, boys. You see, Judy and Jimmy are my friends. When you mess with them... You mess with Jolson. Well, what are you going to do about it, Jolson? Yeah, we eat twice his size. That makes us four times your size. I'll tell you what I'm going to do right now. Climb upon my knee, sonny boy. No, anything but that. Though you're only three, sonny boy. Yeah, please, you we beg you. no way of knowing. It's even worse There's no <laughs> way of showing. What do you mean to me, sonny boy? Look, Jimmy, it's working. Mr. Jolson's singing is making their faces melt off just like the Nazis in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Whoa. It reminds me of how Kishka's made. <laughs> well, there you are, kids. Thanks to my singing, the Karate Twins are just a big pile of goop on the dusty ground. I'd hate to see what happens to them with an encore. <laughs> Come on, gang. Let's get this Kishka back to our house before it's too late. I'll remind Mother to put it into the microwave to kill off any bacteria. Microwave? Well, it's a kitchen appliance that heats up food by exposing it to radiation. Fascinating. Will you join us in celebrating Kashmir Pulaski Day, honey? Oh, Jimmy, you should know wherever there's Kishka, there's Jolson. Only... Yes? Are you sure this microwave thing is safe? Come on, Mr. Jolson. It's radiation. Which means it's bound to be safer than your singing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat.